What's up, guys? It's your boy, Key Boy here. Every online gamer ever by Smosh. Smosh used to be one of my favorite YouTube channels growing up. They, they were absolutely hilarious. I, I loved almost everything they put out whenever they were in their prime. But now, it's a cesspool of bad videos that are not funny. So, we're going to not laugh at one of their videos. Let's get to it. All right, so we have the random squad. When you're playing whatever game you prefer, maybe Fortnite, maybe COD, maybe CSGO, maybe uh, Minecraft, uh, there, there's times where you get into a four person squad and it's a bunch of random people that you don't know because you don't have any friends. So you get to play with random other people who don't have friends. So, um, yeah. So yeah, uh, that's where they are right now. This is the random squad. Let's see how relatable this is for all, all you gamers out there. What's up everyone? I know we don't know each other, but I'm actually pretty good at this game, so just follow my lead. Does anybody say that? Whenever I, I, I some people like bluff and they're like it's obvious that they're just kidding. They're like, "Yo, guys, I'm I'm really good at this game. I'm actually at the lowest rank possible because um I I, I dropped down on purpose and really, like you you can tell you can tell it's just bluff like because they're being funny you know that or or whatever you know they're just trolling they're trolling. I'm actually pretty good at this game, so just follow <laughs> me. Nobody nobody legitimately, at least no one. No one should legitimately stand up and do this because I don't know if you're if you're a person and you actually join a lobby and you're like, yo guys, um, I'm probably the best person in this lobby right now, so follow my lead. Just listen to what I do and we'll we'll win. And you're like completely serious about it, not trolling. I don't know what to say to you, but I I personally do not like you. We'll take cover in the north tower and use snipers to just pick up the squads one by one, got it? Alright, I'm ready. Let's do pip a pot in the deli what I What I have no idea what you just said. Pips pops deli wops in the pilly popper in it. Are you like eating peanut butter? Are you eating peanut butter? I hear that you have a British accent, uh, but there's no way you could possibly be British. You have to be an American eating peanut butter. That's the only that's the only explanation for this scenario. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, I get it. You're British. That's how I play me. Oi, I need to get my translator. Pop, pop. Every online gamer ever. I mean, all, off to a pretty rough, a pretty rough start, to be honest. What up, Samurai Squad? Shing! It's your boy, Samurai. And today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do some better builds and faster. Now, to build the perfect tower, all you gotta do is remember your 90s and then... Boom, perfect build. Can you guys relate to the... 90s. Fortnite! Fortnite! I love Fortnite. Why are we still here? Here, I'm gonna show you again a little bit slower. Boom. Okay. Um. Remember my '90s and. You guys ever? You guys ever just uh hop in a Fortnite lobby and uh you're about to do some '90s, right? You're about to do some '90s. You're about to spin in circles and use your Fortnite builds, and then you just fall. You fall because you try to '90 too hard. What? Every online gamer actually, every single person who plays online has had that one moment where you were '90ing too hard and you fell out of your seat. Cause you're such a gamer. It's happened to everyone. Don't lie, don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. It's happened to me. All right, I'll, I'll come out and say it first. I I have fallen from 90 in Fortnite. Now you guys say it too. Say it with me. I have fallen off my gaming chair, gaming chair, from gaming too hard in 90 on Fortnite, my favorite video game. It's end. Oh. Ah, yeah, I'm getting better. Boom, it's just that easy. Gaming is fun! Dude, this is actually like painful to watch. Maybe I like Smosh whenever I was younger because I thought this stuff was funny as a kid. I don't, I, I feel like the stuff, the, the OG Smosh stuff isn't that bad, but like, this is, whew. You mean you actually play with a controller and not a mouse and keyboard? <laughs> so tell me about yourself. Well, I love playing video games. For me, it's all about the mindset. You know, you gotta grind every day and not listening to the haters. Actually, if um, if I'm gonna be honest, nobody has probably ever had a conversation like this on a first date, you know? You probably might just say, I like playing video games. You aren't gonna be like, I play video games. I am really good at the video games and I grind them every single day. <laughs> like, you're not. You're not gonna sit there and do that. You're just gonna say, I like video games and that's it you aren't unless they ask for more detail you aren't gonna just force all that stuff on you if you do once again you're weird you're weirder 
Who are you as a person? Uh. You want to say grind again, don't you? Grind! I feel like people like this actually do exist, though, if I'm gonna be honest. Well, my favorite part of this game is the world building, and you can actually build and run your own tea shop. And mine's doing pretty well lately, but I need some employees to help me run it, if you guys are interested. Uh, let me get this straight. You want me, a level 60 barbarian, to put down my sort of Eldron and Phoenix Shield, put on an apron and sell tea? <laughs> you're gonna love it, I promise. If you're role-playing in video games and you're not under the age of 12, you have a serious problem. <laughs> It's okay to role play for the memes though, I did just want to throw that out there, but if you are actually sitting down and making sure that your tea shop has the correct amount of employees and stuff to keep itself running, even though it actually doesn't matter whatsoever and you aren't making any in-game currency or anything from it, you have a serious problem, the end. Take out the trash, you got a FIFO, first in first out, okay? Oh, I'm sorry guys, that's my alarm, I gotta go to work. Ah, oh. <sighs> bummer man, where, where do you work again? I work at a tea shop, it's the flippin' worst. <sighs> Ew. How dare people have jobs? How dare you not dedicate your life to the gamer, gamer life? Are you even a real gamer? You have a job, you're making money, you're paying rent. You're not even a real gamer. I can, I can smell it. I can, well, I mean, I, I can't even, I just know you aren't a gamer because you're doing stuff other than gaming. How dare you? Dude, guys, check out this new character skin I got. Dude, Seth, that's sick. You hit rank 90 already? No, 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 you can get it without ranking. But isn't that like $200? <laughs> Guys, it's free. All I had to do is type in these numbers I found on a card in my dad's wallet. Works just like a promo code. I can use it on any website. I bought a pool with it. Seth, I need to talk to you right now. Yeah, this one, this one isn't that bad, you know? Whenever I was a kid, I mean, I think it's kind of weird because it's played by a bunch of grown adults. And I realize it's like being tailored towards the kids audience or whatever, but like, I don't know. It's just like, it makes me feel like they're trying to say that adults are going to use their mom's credit card to buy like stuff in games or something. That's just what it feels like. I know it's, I know it's talking about kids. I know it's talking about kids, right? But anyway, story time, story time. Whenever I was a kid, I bought Skate 4 on my Xbox 360. And it only had like four gigabytes or something because for Christmas, I got the cheapest Xbox 360 you could get. And I used my mom's card to buy the um, Skate 4 game. And she was mad, you know, I got grounded and all that. But the worst part about this whole story is I actually couldn't even play the game because I didn't have enough storage on my Xbox to play it. And the only game I could install on my Xbox was Minecraft. So I did all that for nothing is what I'm trying to say. Also, also. I've played Skate 4. Don't don't you worry guys. I ended up upgrading my Xbox. I got a I got a hard drive and I put it in the Xbox and I was able to play Skate 4. So I did play Skate 4 growing up. Don't judge me that harshly. Thank you. Hey, I hope you're good at this game. I am. I compete professionally. I am. I was in the Pro Am Fortnite Cup and I came in 37th place and I won $20. I'm pretty much a pro gamer. Oh, cool. Okay, this will be fun. Um, let's try and drop at Pleasant Park. And, and build up our loop. Great idea. Cool. Oh, there's a guy at 10 o'clock. I can push him. No worries. I sniped him. Nice. While you were wasting time opening that crate, I killed everyone. We won. That wasn't fun for me at all. I know, right? Too easy. You want to squat again? No, I'm going to go back to playing with my British friend. That's honestly not at all what happens. Whenever you find someone that's got at a game that you're ass at, you're obviously going to get in a match with them over and over again so you keep winning because that's the whole point of playing the game is you want to win. So th this girl, 0 out of 10 IQ. Oh, hey, Jess. Uh, we're just waiting on Frank and then we're going to start. Oh, no, man. He's on. He just doesn't have a mic. Oh. That's gonna give us a disadvantage. Don't worry, dude. I know how to translate emotes, so I'll just tell you what it means. Well, he's doing the floss dance. What does that mean? Mm, that means that he's ready to play. These people are really sitting here. Like, why, why do they mean that that was a good idea to do a skit where they're translating Fortnite emotes? Where have all their ideas gone? Like, I, they're really on their last legs right now, bro. Wait, he's doing the floss dance, then Millie Rock. Oh, that means he's a guy to the east. 
Okay, it appears to be the floss dance, Millie Rock, tea bag, then floss again. Oh my god, are you serious? Dude, dude that means he's being kidnapped, like, IRL. What are we doing? We have to save him, Sh Anyways, that's about all the time I have today. I, I really don't want to watch any more of this video. It's just the same skits over and over again after this point, I found out. So, um... I'm just doing the outro now, cutting out all the other stuff I said because it's literally the same thing over and over. They just reuse the skits but continue them a little bit. I don't know. I used to love Smosh as a kid, like I said earlier. Love their videos. I, I would watch Smosh every single day. But now, now it's pretty bad, bro. They're really, they're really just trying to like get that grasp to like stay in the YouTube platform, but they like really can't. If I remember correctly, they're actually bought over by like a company or something and I'm pretty sure it just absolutely ruined them and Smosh is not funny whatsoever anymore. So, sorry Smosh, but um, 0 out of 10 for me. Anyways, make sure you smash that like button if you agree or disagree. If you're a Smosh fan and you think Smosh is funny, which is okay, you can think that. Smash like, so I know. And if you think they're not funny anymore, smash like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, peace.